Yo guys, what's up? Shadow here. Welcome to VR Sunday. Today we are playing a game called 18 Floors. And by the language selection, I would guess this is some kind of a Japanese developer that made this game because there seems to be like three languages. They all look the same to me. Oh well, English we go. So, this is some sort of escape room kind of puzzle Welcome game. Welcome to the mysterious world of 18 floors. Before the adventure begins, please check the controllers in your hands. Use the circle button on the controller to teleport yourself. Hold okay. the button down in the direction you want and then release the button so you can be teleported to that location. Easy enough. Teleport yourself to the location indicated by the green circle. Where? Oh! Easy. Move the controller close to the object. Hold on the trigger to pick it up or to interact with it. Okay, let's go over to this. Ooh, open drawer. Oh, okay, so you have to watch where these... This little ball here at the front, that's where your interaction zone is, basically. Light. What light? Oh! Oh, if you press it down, you get a flashlight. Okay. So we open this one now. Pick up the key and open the locked door. Okay. And do we need to... Hold on oh. the circle button and aim at the object you want to pick up. When the light turns into yellow, pull the trigger to pick up the object. Oh, it's like the force grab now, system. Take the elevator and begin your adventure. Hold down the... Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like the... Most games actually in VR now try to do this. At least a lot of them I have seen. So you can remote pick up things. I like that. Okay. Easy enough tutorial. So we go to the first floor, I assume. Um, quick note. Apparently, the version that I bought just is the first two floors. So, the most important thing for me to figure out right now is, is it worth it to buy the first two floors? And will these first two floors make me want to spend more money on the next floors? Oh, hello. Oh, I drank too much again. Jesus. Oh, hello. Oh, thank you, light. Oh, no, cockroaches. Look at them. Oh, you are... Ugly as shit! <laughs> no, actually, the game looks very good. Lovely graphics. Really lovely. Can I interact? Oh, I cannot interact with all of these. Alas! Pure, poor Yorick! <laughs> to be or not to be? Oh, something fell out. A zero, apparently. Okay, we'll gather all the clues on the table and hope the cockroaches don't take the clues away. First, the might. First, the mighty. Second, the colorful. Third, the crooked. Okay. There's so much stuff in here. It's kind of a clock with different symbols. This is the female symbol, what the others are. I'm, there's the male and there's the two other genders. What? <laughs> well, look, there's another. Um, yes. What was that? There's another piece of paper here. Oh! And goodbye goes the... Pencil, apparently. Can I stab them? Ah! <laughs> no, okay. What else is there? Oh, okay. <laughs> so there's... Certain things you can pick up, okay. Um, yeah, let's take a look around. Is there anything we can do here? Oh, hello. Um. What was it? The mighty, the colorful, and the crooked. So I have the feeling I need to move the right pieces to the right, um, you know, point. So what is the mighty? 
What do you think the mighty could be? I mean, there's there's a hammer. A hammer is quite mighty, is it not? But I... Can I even move those? Wait, does that work? No. Oh, shot at you. But I think I can... Let's Let's just do it that way. Like that. And then, what is the second? The colorful. There's some kind of tape or what? Something like that. So I assume that is the colorful. And then the crooked might be this thing. Or maybe not. <laughs> hmm. Interesting, interesting. I'm not quite sure what this is supposed to be. This symbol here. You know? Also, I cannot do anything else here, can I? And what is that? What is that? Huh? It shows me the room in like a different... Or, or is it a mirror? What the heck? No, it's not a mirror. It shows the room maybe at an earlier time. How interesting. Okay. Um. Oh, look, there's another piece of paper here. A Y. Which is not there earlier on. Very interesting. Holy hell, there's a lot here to, ex to to discover and to explore oh hello I'm going back to this later I just want to see what there is all, all, all over this place okay cool because a lot of these um, escape rooms are like ridiculously easy you know what I mean and this one just from the feeling right now seems quite hard actually so there's a there's this this is beta symbol, right? Bap X. Okay. What the hell? Oh look! There's a hammer. Quite a mighty hammer. There's a screwdriver. There's whatever oh it's a, like a hand drill, right? I think. What else? Can we write on the Oh we can! Uh No, no, we're not gonna no. Forget forget what are, what you saw. All right, what else do we have here? Is this somehow important? There's some some formulas. Holy crap. And this thing? Jesus Christ, so much stuff. Oh! <laughs> what the heck? Oh! Oh, is this like a puzzle where you have to make all the eyes open? Ha! Huh. Well, I'm good at these kind of puzzles, so... Whoa! Oh, hello. Cool. Look at how nice that looks. I dig this. So we have a key. So we, we completed a first puzzle, which is good. It's good for the morale, you know? Sometimes you need to complete an easy puzzle first. Oh, wait. We have a key. Let's try. Ah, yes. Okay. Oh, don't tell me there's a horror element to this. Um... Let's just enter what we see back there. B A P X. Okay. This. Oh, and now we need to figure out this one. Also, there's another symbol here, which correlates to this one, obviously. Okay. And then there's another one here and another one here. Oh, we just... Okay, we have to find out this one. The mighty, the colorful, and the crooked. What? 
have we missed here? Um. Oh no, we don't want to put it in again. What did we miss? What is the the mighty, the colorful, and the crooked? Is there something I'm missing here? What is the mighty? Okay, we have a screwdriver. We have a hammer. We have one of these, I don't know, one of these wrenches. Huh. I mean... They all make the same sound when we put them in there, right? It's not like there, there's like a specific clicking sound or something. When we... No. No, that's not correct. Works very well in the way you control things, I have to say. Um... I mean, look, the colorful. Wouldn't you agree? This, the, the, this tape. It's very colorful, right? Then we have hammers, which are quite powerful. Again. But what is with the crooked? Am I misinterpreting the word crooked? I am I? Be because to me, uh, uh, tell me in the comments if I'm completely wrong here. To me, crooked, that means something like um, if it's kind of bent, isn't it? Am I completely wrong in that assumption? The mighty. Um, let's try it with this at the end, with the screwdriver. And then the colorful will be this thing. Oh, Jesus! Did I put, like, the hammer under this and then it's... That scared the shit out of me. Okay, what is this? Huh? What the hell? Oh! Hello! What do we have here? Oh! Hello? And then... 2, 3, 5 plus equals and a Z. What are these? And they... What? Okay. We need to find a corresponding thing. You see this, this, this symbol? The... Oh, hello. There's another one. Female symbol. Going. All right. Let's see if we find some more. Okay, the this symbol here. We need to find that somewhere in this room. Oh, what is this? Liar. Neil Walker. Virtually everything. Okay. Is there anything else inside here? Uh, nope. Okay, where can we find this stupid symbol? Or is that the only thing that we're getting? These stupid cubes. What is... Does this thing help us? Do these change? No. What the heck? We find we found some numbers here. We found we find a three, a zero. Was there any anywhere else a number like that? I cannot really recall. Oh, is that actually to? Um, oh yeah, I was worried that I might you know over uh, color something that is actually important. <laughs> Um, hmm. This is kind of tricky. I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to do with this here. Two plus three equals five. Okay. Okay, there's like two positions marked here. There's this one. And this 
What does it want to tell me? Oh, wait. Can I? Wait. 2 plus 3 equals... Okay. What do I need to do, though? Ugh, this is complicated. You know, sometimes uh, uh, these puzzle games, and I understand why, are, are super easy. You know? Oh, look, there's something else. Hello? Interesting. Can we not... Uh, like that. And then we have this piece. That's kind of awkward how the... You know, it's always aligned to the controller. It's kind of weird. <laughs> okay. I think that's correct. Although that... Is that like... Mirrored? You know what I mean? In, uh, and why can we not get this one off? That's kind of fucked up. Arrgh! There must be more of these. Maybe we can play with the radio? No. Okay. Oh god, I'm stupid! Oh, look at that! There's numbers on this side! So what? Two? Five? Four and eight. Huh? What? What is the question here? Do we need to get to 48? Because that would be 23 plus 23. 48. Huh? Okay, okay, let's think about this again. This is 48, quite clearly, isn't it? 48, yes. 25. And at the top, nothing. Oh, whoops, I'm, I'm like punching into my fan. What the hell does this machine want me to do? Or is it, do we not like have to do something like 48 plus 25 maybe? So plus 23 plus um, 25. 73. Nope, apparently not. Ah, oh. There's nothing else in here. Oh, that's interesting. They're, they're these little cylinders. They come down into the... Into the drawers here. That's kind of cool. I guess. Oh, come on. Go back. Ugh. Oh, maybe we can open up these things here. They look like they can be opened up, right? Oh, yeah, they can. Hey, there's another symbol. Whatever that symbol means. I'm sure I've saw I've seen this symbol before, but Is there anything else back there? No. Wait, how many we can Oh, we can put in four numbers in here, okay? I have an idea. What if we have to put in a code that is 2? Um, what is that? Is it also a 2? What if the code is 2428? You know what I mean? No, oh, two, four, two, eight. Now, oh god, now we need to do mathematics. Um, two, four, two, eight. That means two, two, 
No, that it doesn't even work. Two four two eight. Because you know, I, I I'm I'm thinking about now um, calculating two numbers together, so that they um, give us um, two four two eight. So that would be something two thousand two hundred and something plus two hundred and right? Am I am I completely wrong in my assumption? What do you think? Oh, it's five. Oh wait, two, four, five, eight. So it's three, five, and now plus two, two, three. Two, four, five, eight. Would that that be correct? Two, four. Five eight, yeah, that m that must be correct now. Or is it, is it two five four eight as a number? Okay, it's not that. So let's try. The first digits are two five, and then four eight. So it's um. Two five four eight, and th so we need to plus two hundred and twenty three. Yes! Oh my God! Oh, hello, weird Japanese lady. Not disturbing at all. Actually, this is the um, uh, what's it called? The the icon of the game. Okay. Oh, hello. That's locked, apparently. Um... How? What? Um... Oh god, this, this, this... Oh, hello! Well... Okay. Oh, this is only to open it. I mean, the, the, the puzzle will come now, obviously. Oh, there we go. Let's see. It's... Si oh, which way was it around? I think it was this way around. So this is a... S oh, damn. It's the it's zeros with different... Okay, so I think it's like that. And then the top one would be a... An L of some sort. Actually, let's let's get this over here. Why not? Oh, not not like that. Because the controller wants to hold it like that. Although that seems to be wrong for some reason. If we look at it from a different angle. You know, Let's say we put it not like this, but like this. Then, could we do it? Yes, then it works. Then it's an L in this direction. It's an O with the little dot on this side. And then one on the other side. And what's the last thingy? I mean, the last piece missing is that E. That would be looking in this direction, right? But apparently that's wrong. So is it in fact the other way around? This there's something weird going on with perspective here that I don't quite get. What if Oh god. And it cannot be like mm. it can either be this way around what if it's flipped like um if it's it's if it's mirrored so to speak then that would mean either we're missing like the last piece of this hmm are we missing the last piece that's what i wonder because there is this piece right here right which 
in theory, somehow... Oh god, now it's gonna get awkward. Needs to fit to this piece. No, I actually think we're missing one last piece. I'm thinking that the, the way we put it together, it was correct. You know, this way, I think that was correct, but we're missing one last piece, and I have kind of an idea where it could be. Alright, let's put this together again. Actually, we could just, like, brute force it at this point, couldn't we? Assuming the rest is correct. Yeah, okay. Is that it? No, we're missing one... We're missing one symbol there. One, uh... Oh god, but where is that now? Alright, systematically searching the room, right? Um... Okay, this desk is... Oh, oh god, I don't want to look at this lady, seriously. This desk is clean. We, we checked down here. I think we checked up here. We cannot take down the box. Um... In between here? No. Not quite sure where, but... Oh, look, there would have been our last... Ugh. There was the last piece of paper. Ah. Alright, so... The right combination, obviously, was this. Cool! Okay, so we found that. <laughs> way, way after that we needed it. Oh, God. Creepy Japanese lady. Don't stare at me like that. Ha! Ah! Where's that last stupid, stupid... Mm. Oh, give me a second, will ya? By the way, what happens if you poke your head through... The oh, it's in space! We're in goddamn space! <laughs> I kinda like that, actually. You know, sometimes you can use this method to cheat. And I don't think it's gonna really help us here. Oh god, I'm so blind. I just saw where the piece is. Oh my. Yeah, I'm I'm one blind man. Come on. I saw this golden thing at the start of the game, but then I kind of forgot about it. Oh, look at it. What is that? Oh. Oh, do we need we need to align it correctly? Oh, how cool is that? I love this! This is amazing! Yeah, look, if you look from, from this angle... Oh, this is so cool! Okay! Um... Bye, creepy Japanese lady! Uh, floor two? Wow! I am impressed by this puzzle! Even though I, I behaved like a doofus for the last 10 minutes, but... That's just me. <laughs> Alright, I don't think I'm gonna uh, finish the second puzzle today. But... Um, I just wanna have a quick look at the room before I, I sign off, basically. But so far, I'm impressed! Oh! Okay, I like this. This is a complete different environment. We're on some kind of boat train? Oh god, this is so cool. <laughs> Little trains. Okay. Um so let me get into where is the camera? Somewhere oh god, over there. Right! This first room was intense, you know? Um, very creative puzzles, in my opinion. A bit more difficult than the ones that we had before in other puzzle rooms. Um, also, the atmosphere, it was really creepy, especially when the light went out for a second. Did we just make a curve? Or was that just me? Oh, well. Um... Very interesting, the atmosphere, and now the second floor, completely different atmosphere. It's like, yeah, we're on a train, we're, we're like, 
it look you know a journey or something very cool graphics wise yeah looks good looks very good to me um, from the controls it's it's okay I mean it's only the small ball in front of here that grabs things so you need to be a bit precise but it's okay in my opinion and also you have this like the the um, remote pickup maybe for people I don't know who cannot you know go down to the floor anymore that's a kind of nice touch I guess um, interesting game it's on sale right now so if you want to get the first two puzzle rooms here you know get it now it's still on sale I'm actually looking forward to the, all the other floors because that first one was very good it was the right kind of um, mix between difficult but easy enough so you can actually get it and then be like oh yeah I got it also yeah we just did make a curve I saw the train in front interesting all right guys thank you so much for, for watching this has been 18 floors on vr sunday and i see you guys next time take care